Well, I won't catch the sunset tonight because I'm a little bit too early, but the temperature's dropped to 22 and it's time to go out dog walking. <laughs> So it's amazing how different this little area is at different times of the year. I mean, now we're in the middle of summer, uh, just past midsummer, and uh, my favourite oak tree here. And you can see it's all ferns now. This was all a riot of bluebells just a couple of months ago. Now it's a riot of ferns. It's just one of the joys of living in a country where the seasons have such marked changes. It's one of the reasons I don't think I could ever live in a hot country. The idea of it being hot all the time, sunny all the time. That drives me nuts. I love the changes. I love winter, I love autumn, I love spring, I love summer. They've all got their own characters and they've all got their own beauty. It's wonderful. This is what's left of the bluebells now. You can see these seed pods. They've all now gone to seed and they'll be shedding all ready for next year. Nice tangly bit of wood. Nothing more of interest, just a nice tangly bit of wood. I like that one. It's obviously a holly. The eerie silence of almost no birdsong. I've already mentioned it on a couple of videos, but uh, yeah, it's getting to that time of year. I'm seeing feathers on the ground everywhere. In fact, just up ahead here, look. Beautiful, beautiful magpie tail feather here. Can you see if I catch it in the light, you get a lovely iridescent greeny blue. Really pretty. It's looking a bit tatty, mind you, but that's why it's molted it, of course. It'll be growing its new ones now. But nice feather nonetheless. I'm not one for promoting apps and companies generally, but I have to say, I have been using the Merlin app to uh, listen to and identify bird calls over the last few weeks. It's a free app and um, I've tried quite a few of the plant ones and I've tried quite a few of the uh, mushroom ones and they haven't been great if I'm honest. They, they've been some quite spectacular misidentifications including one quite poisonous mushroom identified as edible. But I think I can say with all honesty that this Merlin app is pretty good because I know quite a few bird songs already so I could just check whether it was correct. And it has been. It's been really, really good. And I identified a couple of bird songs I didn't actually know. The only time it's had a slight anomaly was once when it came up with the word mallard. And I'm about as far from a pond or a river as you could possibly be. Um, unless maybe there was a duck hidden somewhere watching me. Hmm, Gary Larson may have got that one right. But apart from that one random duck, it's been pretty good. So I do recommend it. Um, like I said, I'm nothing to do with the company and I'm not sponsored by them, although I'm always up for sponsorship. But nevertheless, yeah, Merlin, good app. I will confess, I thought there was another anomaly two days ago when it picked up what it said was a peregrine falcon. And again, I thought to myself, really? Around here? But I saw it today. I saw the peregrine falcon swooping down through a tree and a lot of very startled magpies, wrens and uh, collared doves jumping out of the trees and bushes. Quite, quite clearly a peregrine. Um, so it turns out it was right. The Rose Bay Willow herb's starting to come up. It's got to get up substantially higher yet and the flowers have got to open, but uh, there it is. But it's uh, very uh, identifiable leaves. Also known as fireweed. Uh, I think A, because the seeds, when they come out, they're kind of very fluffy and fibrous. It can be used as tinder for fires. But also because the leaves go bright orangey, red and yellow. They actually look like the whole field's on fire. But the best bit about uh, Rosebay Willow Herb is that the uh, the flowers... Oh, these are a bit more open. Is that the flowers can be used to make jam with a very subtle rose flavour. Very, very nice. golden hour. You've got to love it, haven't you? Lovely time of day. Oh. 